so students till now we have seen the various kind of forces which are induced during the cutting operation like uh, main tangential force fc thrust force ft and the two components of ft that is fa and fr <music>
the frictional force normal force these are the actual forces friction and normal these are actual forces with the fc and ft which are the measurable forces so now i will take that part of merchant circle diagram where this f n and fc and ft are available see here in this diagram in this diagram i am getting here fc ft and the things that we are going to determine f and n okay now see F is a frictional force, N is a normal component of this friction force, FC is the main tangential force and FT is a thrust force. So this is a rake angle alpha, so this also the opposite angle alpha, isn't it? So if this is alpha, so this angle will be 90 minus alpha, so this is 90, then this angle will be alpha. Then this will be 90 minus alpha, this is 90, so this is alpha, simple geometry. And from point C, I have drawn a perpendicular on OA at point D. See here. This is OA at point D. I have a perpendicular from point C to the point D. Isn't it? And on same line from B, we have again dropped a perpendicular or normal at point E on CD. This is a simple geometry we have done here. Now it is very easy to calculate the F and N values. So how can we calculate F friction force? Is it equal to OD plus AD? So OD can be calculated from triangle CDO or OCD and AD again equal to B. So B in terms of FT and alpha we can calculate, isn't it? So like that we can have the value of friction force, see here friction force will get F is equal to Fc sin alpha plus Ft cos alpha, this is very important relation for friction force please, okay. And in same fashion we can also have the value of N as, we can calculate N as, N is equal to Ef, isn't it, and Ef, how to calculate Ef? So, EF will be this CD minus C. So, CD is again from right angle triangle CDO. We can calculate CF. Okay. Minus C from this triangle BEC. We can calculate C. That is sine of alpha is equal to C divided by FT. Like that. And we will get the value for N. We will get finally N is equal to what? Fc cos alpha minus Ft sin alpha. This is the value for n. So here also we have got the relation between the actual forces F and N with the measurable component of forces Fc and Ft. Okay. Now from these above expressions for F and N, we know that tan of angle beta. This is beta is what? We know that this is a friction angle this tan of friction angle beta is equal to mu by the friction theorem. What is mu? Mu is equal to frictional force divided by normal force. Just now we calculated frictional force as what? Fc sin alpha plus Ft cos alpha and n is Fc cos alpha minus Ft sin alpha. If I divided both the numerator and denominator of this ratio with the cos alpha, so what I will get, I will get this tan of angle beta which is nothing but the coefficient of friction mu is equal to Fc tan alpha plus Ft divided by Fc minus Ft tan alpha because sin alpha by cos alpha, sin by cos is tan, cos cos get cancelled here, cos cos get cancelled here, sin by cos is tan, isn't it? So this is the value for coefficient of friction by the merchants here okay so the above expression is for the coefficient of friction in terms of ft and fc and rake angle alpha please remember this now let us see what are the assumptions of the merchant theory 
okay what merchant assume the merchant assume that the cutting edge is straight and very sharp the cutting edge of the tool is straight and sharp then the material should be a homogeneous so at every point anywhere in the material the properties are same he assume that the cutting is orthogonal that is cutting is orthogonal means what the cutting edge of the tool is perpendicular to the cutting velocity vector and yes material should be uh, rigid and perfectly plastic so there will be a sliding of material over a rake face so it is perfectly plastic material and this assumption last assumption we already i told you when we were discussing about the shear plane okay so shear zone is extending in a very narrow region which is approximated by a very thin straight line by the merchant okay so these were the assumptions of merchants theory now the last point of this video we will discuss about the calculation of shear stress see just now we have learned how to calculate the value of shear force so shear force according to the merchant circle diagram how to calculate fc cos phi minus ft sin phi here we know that force is what the shear strength of the material into sheared area that is force or shear strength of the material is what the shear force divided by sheared area but in the previous formula of shear stress there is no any shear strength of the material given no any shear area of the given shear area of that material is given but we can calculate the fs by having the values of the cutting forces and the shear angle phi now see here in this diagram we are interested to calculate the shear stress tau s shear stress is represented by tau s okay so shear stress is what shear force upon shear area so shear force is fs okay and here what is shear area so if you can see here this hatched line is drawn here to show the shear area okay this is the area is shear and you can see here the chip is deformed okay so this is so three dimensional view i can try to draw here to show you this shear area if this before shear area which area is there the normal area okay normal area, area will be what this b into what this value is what uncut chip thickness so b into t1 will be the normal area but what is shear area this b into ls ls i already told ls is what length of the shear plane isn't it so we can write the shear strength of the material as fs divided by as okay we know ls is what from the diagram we can ls is what t1 divided by sin phi and shear area is what width of the chip into shear length shear plane length ls okay but ls what is the value of ls just now we seen from the diagram ls is what this b into ls is what sin phi is equal to t1 divided by ls so ls is equal to what t1 divided by sin phi into b1 you will get the shear area as yes. so same thing we are seeing so shear area will get as b t1 divided by sin phi t1 divided by sin phi is what nothing but our ls please remember okay so shear stress my dear friends shear stress is equal to shear force upon shear area which is equal to shear force fs divided by shear area as now i can get the value of tau s is equal to fs divided by b t1 divided by sin phi okay now and from this formula now we can have the shear force as the shear strength of the material into b t1 divided by sin phi right so this is the shear force calculated from what from the or shear force calculated from shear strength and shear area and just 
some time back we have learned that we can also have the shear force by the relation fs is equal to fc cos phi minus ft sin phi which can be used when cutting forces are given cutting forces kaun se hai this fc and ft please remember this so uh, this is enough for this video next thing we will get in the next video thank you